Okay, let's do this. I don't have a candle lit right now just because it's actually daytime here. And I forgot to do your guys' reading. Let's get right into it. It's probably going to be really good. Well, look at the first card popping out. Though we're not supposed to be flipping these over just yet. That's amazing, okay? Let's get another. I'm just going to get a couple oracles. And then I'm going to get into the tarot for your reading. We will pick one from here and flip it over. I don't know why. I feel like this one is calling... So we have children here. Your love is being affected. Your love life is being affected by children. Now, to be honest, I kind of think this may be an issue. It may be something to do with your beliefs, with you worrying about having children. It could be anything, but it could be childhood issues as well, right? Um, the new beginning that we just saw prior, it could be saying, you know, you're going to be releasing these issues that you have been binded to since childhood. So that would be a really great message. But let's see what's coming out, okay, for Scorpio. And my question here is, when is love coming in? But we got to get a little story first. So there's a whole bunch of new beginning energy. I think that we had enough. Let's just put it all out. Oh my gosh. Choose a new direction. You may be with someone from your childhood and be moving away from them. Um, you could be going for a childhood dream. This is all about some sort of a new beginning, Scorpio. In what? In matters of what? It could be anything. Look at the nine of wands. You're letting go of something that you have been hanging on to um, because I'm seeing the hangman underneath here. And there is a beautiful opportunity. You didn't see it, which is the interesting thing because you see how this stone is kind of covering the light, right? It's there. But if you're here, if you're standing here, you're not going to see the light. So I don't think you saw that. And here comes this big blow of wind to move things out of the way so you can have some clarity. It's time for a new adventure. It, you know, the children energy could also be representative of a new beginning because it's a fresh start, right? So tell us more about this fresh start Scorpio is going to be going through. So you're putting everything, you're hanging everything out to dry. You're not denying anything. You're not hiding anything. Um, you're letting go of something. You don't care. You're saying it all. You're putting it all out there. See what's on the bottom. Justice. Yeah, you're not holding anything back right now in regards to whatever this has to do with. And you don't care who it hurts, okay? And I'm not saying it's going to hurt someone, Scorpio, but the truth can hurt. And that's all I'm hearing. The truth hurts, okay? So I think you're going to be very honest with someone. Oops, sorry. Uh, even though so far we don't have actual swords out here. But see how we have the action being taken, uh, no longer hanging on, and all of this wind is coming out of this person's mouth. Even here we have this, this person's tongue hanging out like something's coming out okay queen of stones that's the queen of pentacles i mean scorpio is this you is this your person let's let's ask who is this justice this is the person that you will be leaving by the looks of it this is the person that you will be just laying it all out to scorpio uh queen of stones can talk about Let's just say the, the woman behind the power, it doesn't have to be a woman, but the energy behind the scenes, uh, someone who may have been painting a pretty picture for everyone or making things look really good, doing work behind the scenes. So whether you are the masculine or the feminine, you're leaving someone. You're putting it all out there. Let's get more into that. Oh my gosh, the death card. And yes, it did want to come in reverse. I feel that this is not about a new opportunity. I'm getting this vibe like it can't happen quick enough. Okay, I'm seeing the hunter card, the green man card. Um, it can't happen quick enough. And I'm almost like I just need to pick up this energy here. Yeah, so it looks like Scorpio, you may be this queen of stones. Okay, but whatever it is, you're done. You're leaving. You've hung on. You've really hung on and you're coming out. You're coming out is all I can say. It's like you're rising from, from being buried. You're no longer going to be buried. What happened here? What happened? Here's that green man again. It's the emperor, by the way. Okay. So tell, oh, secrets. You got secrets. Secrets came out. Okay. Yeah. Something came out about this green man, about this emperor energy, because he's very translucent. 
whatever he was trying to hide, you can actually see. So what is that about? Seven of mirrors. There was a seven of stones there too. Seven of mirrors is about options. And we have the strength card here. Well, let's go one more. Let's see. The queen of swords. Oh, so I think you're leaving someone here. The Wheel of Fortune, time is up. Time has passed. Um, let me just come back to your energy here. So I, I take it possibly you're coming up as one queen. We have another queen here. Um, Scorpio, you're not in your element right now because you're not following your path. Well, you will be, but you weren't. So you weren't in your element. You may have been losing a lot of money. Um, who's the queen here? Let's see what's coming up. It's just flipped over right in front of me. Eight of Scrolls, the Eight of Swords. So yeah, the truth is coming out about this unhappiness. Um, it's like a bittersweet energy. I don't think you wanted to make this decision, Scorpio, but you are. And the decision you're making is to leave, either to go to another lover or just to go invest elsewhere. Okay. The World card. Interesting. And the Nine of Cups. You're going to get happy somewhere else. What is this happiness about? You're having a new beginning, okay? You may be going towards someone you love. That's very, very possible. Um, it's very possible, Scorpio. So you could be having a secret love situation going on, and it looks like you're leaving one situation. Look at what's this coming in reverse like that. Look at that Six of Cups, the Ace of Cups. There's no more love in this situation. In fact, it's turned to this um, energy of money, but what you're doing is taking action to go somewhere else, okay? So where are you going? I mean, well, it's definitely someone you've been watching, and by the looks of it, it could be a fire sign or just someone you're very passionate about, an empress energy. Look at that. That's just cute. The bear's like watching this empress. Um, so yeah, I see you heading over there. I see you have interest in this person. I I, I just, I don't know. Let's see. I'm seeing a circus. <laughs> You may have not been able to let this person go since you met them. I'm not sure where you met them. It's very possible you met them at a circus. Uh, you could have even met this person at a wedding, which is interesting. But yeah, you've been watching them ever since. Now, what happened in this other situation that you're leaving? Because like, that's weird. Well, I think you've wanted to leave for a while. Oh, the devil, the two of stones. I think you've wanted to leave for a while, but you just had to take that final jump. Um, so, you know, there was always a blockage. So what was that final, what led to that final jump? Temperance. Okay, you've been patient long enough. The Page of Mirrors and the King of Mirrors. Uh, what I get, Scorpio, is you were not getting love where you were. Um, someone was not putting work into the relationship, the person you were with. You could have been with a fire sign, by the way. Um, that doesn't really, it's not really telling me who you were with, but they weren't doing the work. Tell us a little more about that. Judgment. So I think you, you, you looked at that. You looked at the connection. You really looked at what's going on here and you left. Now, where did, what's this other person? Like, you know, that's interesting. Is it new? Is it old? The hermit. I feel like it's an old connection that you never went for because there was always a blockage of some sort. This could be someone from your work, but more importantly, this is like a soulmate energy. This is big, right? Let's see what we have here. Ten of mirrors. This is someone, and I'm seeing the ten of wands. I do feel you could have met this person at work or someone you were at a crossroad. Maybe you met them at the wrong time is really the best way to put it. Maybe because you were married. The King of Stones. But there was something special about that connection. Okay, so it looks like you're going to have a new beginning. You're choosing a new direction. You're leaving. Like when I see the choosing a new direction card, oh my gosh, it's snowing. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Sorry. Okay, yeah. When I see choosing a new direction card, I honestly feel like this is someone who does have some sort of a, a big following or a lot of people that know them and it's like announcing to them, hey guys, like I'm happier elsewhere. I'm taking, you know, this beautiful sparkly person with me and we're going over there. We're out. Bye guys. See ya. So 
this is real. Like this is all relevant. There's some sort of a new beginning happening with you and someone else. And how does this new person feel about you? The star. So this person, you're definitely moving. Um, it's like you're emptying the nest. You're, you're ready to leave. Go to a new one. We have the fool's journey here. The fool Merlin. Someone's name could be Merlin. And we have the high priestess at the top. The person you're going to may be an Aquarian, maybe a Gemini. Um, I don't know why I said Gemini, <laughs> uh, but they may be an Aquarian or just someone very special, someone very um, highly, they're very powerful, okay? And this person looks at you like you're magical too. No wonder you want to be there. You may have known this person from childhood, but you're going for a new beginning, okay, Scorps? So thank you so much. I'm going to go into the extended if you want to join me. And if not, then we talk later. Bye for now. I think I was going to say, though. I don't know. Stay strong. Stay happy. My little air plant. <laughs> Maybe you do have air, heavy air in your energy. Okay, guys. Bye for now.